Hey guys, welcome back to Emolition. I'm Emma, this is Emolition. I think you'll know by now, depending when this video comes out, but I have just moved house. So I'm in my very echoey new office. So first of all, apologies for that. But second of all, I am delighted, delighted to say that we are playing Planet Zoo today, sponsored by Frontier. We worked with Frontier recently as well on Warhammer. So I'm really excited to play Planet Zoo for them as well. It's been quite a stressful couple of weeks trying to move house and now I'm in. I'm just excited to sit down and play Planet Zoo on console. It is out now and I used to love 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 playing games like this when i was younger like honestly i can't tell you how many hours i used to while away on like zoo simulators essentially without saying the name of any others but my goodness um i don't really go to zoos anymore unless they're like properly capture mark release um what do you call it like endangered animal zoos <laughs> because I've just grown into an annoying vegan, so I try not to go to them. So I'm excited to experience zoos through Frontier's new console launch of Planet Zoo. <laughs> um, that was very adorable, by the way. Oh, this is joyful. This is legit joyful. Welcome to Planet Zoo. Thank you for joining us. You're just a few small steps away from experiencing the world of Planet Zoo. First, we'll create an avatar of yourself to represent your amazing creations among the Planet Zoo community. <gasps> you have to add me if you see me. Oh, this is so fun. This has come a long way, huh? This has come a long way. Okay, Um, what am I doing here? It does look like me. I won't lie. Uh -huh. Am I that small? I am slight, you know. Let's see how let's see how close I can get this to myself. What I don't want the that hair. It's not. Oh, that that's fun. Oh, mullet. I wish I was cool enough for a mullet. I'm definitely not though. Let's go with that one. Okay. Oh, this is so fun. This is reminding me of my childhood. Ah. When things were simple. Oh. Oh no. What looks like me? That kind of. Oh yeah. It doesn't look like me, but it's fine. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. If I was oh. cool enough for glasses like that, I would wear them, so. I do like the cow top. Oh, that's cute. And then we can, oh, this is fun. Oh, I didn't realize it was polka dotty. What colors do I wear quite a lot? I feel like I'm quite a pink, a pink queen. My goal today to show you guys Planet Zoo is to try and make a zoo that's basically only got cats in it <laughs> and I don't think it's gonna make much money but I'm excited to find out how that works Ooh. oh my god that is such a look we could just do this all day I'm kind of loving the red with the pink that's honestly so that's hot that's hot that's that's hot I'm sorry don't hate me because you ain't me. Okay. And then what's the last thing? Hats. I mean, we don't need a hat, do we really? Gorgeous. Oh. I'm ready to be a zoo lady. Okay. Place your avatar HQ. The HQ is where other players will see your avatar and access any zoos or blueprints you've shared. Position your avatar anywhere on the globe. Oh, this is going to be a really awful way to figure out. I don't know. Geography. Oh. We'll go in blighty. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! Career. We should probably do first steps, shouldn't we? I kind of just want to... What do we have here? Okay, career. Progress through a career in zoo management. Franchise. Build zoos around the world and trade your animals online. <laughs> the vegan in me is like, that's just so unethical. Compete against the clock in time scenarios? No. I want no stress after the after the few weeks I've had 
moving house, please no. Build your zoos offline with a full economy and challenges. Build your dream zoo with no restrictions. Ooh. That's exactly what I wanted. I just want maximum money. Oh my God, okay, where would cats go? Because you've got lions. Lions are in the grassland, but then you've got tigers and tropics. Tiger. Is it cruel? It, this is gonna end up being cruel, isn't it? This is gonna make me hate myself. Let's go tropical. South America. Difficulty easy. Is there a, is there a minus difficulty <laughs> where nothing bad happens? <laughs> Terrain side flat sculpted diorama. What's that? Ooh. Oh my god, this name tropical zoo. I want to call it something inappropriate, but we're sponsored. I'll put in the comments what I what I was thinking. Um, you love it, don't you? Tell me you love it. Tell me you love it. This is fun. Oh my god, I'm literally going to play this all night. I'm going to play this all night. I'm genuinely gonna play this all night. New sandbox settings. More settings have been added to the settings menu to further customize how you play. Fantastic, okay. Oh my God, oh my God, it's just, oh my God, this is so fun. So this is the zoo, oh my God. <gasps> it's blinking huge. Oh my God, it's blinking huge. All right, let's start at the bottom. Oh my God, I'm really stressed actually. Oh no. Oh, is this a bad idea? Should we start career mode first? I think we should start career mode first and then we'll come back to Meowsville because I've just realized I don't know how to do anything. Because <laughs> I haven't done like any kind of tutorial. I'm just like jumping in expecting to know how everything works. Maybe I should do the career and then we'll go to Meowsville. All right, it's daily homeschooling. I'm playing on easy. I don't want to be stressed. I think everyone should play on easy if they just want a relaxing day, to be honest. There ain't nothing wrong with that, okay? There ain't nothing wrong with that. Watch my next Let's Play just be start to finish. Plan a zoo career. Okay, this is exciting. Where's my water? This is exciting. Are we gonna start ah, from? Hey, yo, at Hematur. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, 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 sorry about that. I, I, I have a habit of slipping back into the Planko language. Bernie, you're so silly. It's good to finally meet you in person. I'm Bernard, although I insist you call me Bernie. The only Bernie, person Bernie, who calls Bernie. me Bernard is my wife. <laughs> and even then, only when I've tracked elephant dung into the carpets. <laughs> As you know, I own several zoos, but I always like to show people the ropes here at my home. Uh -huh. This is the first zoo I ever opened and a source of great pride for me. And prides, thanks to a lion. I was just going to make that joke, but I thought it would be too naff. So <laughs> but thanks for doing it for me, of a Bernie. Big renovation. And that's where you come in. Sadly, our old contractor had to retire. This is a nice a zoo. Yeah. Poor devil kept sneezing his dentures into the lion habitat. So <laughs> it's up to oh, you. This is basically Meowsville anyway, huh? Don't worry, though. I'm not completely throwing you into the deep end. My head keeper, Nancy Jones, will be lending a helping hand. Oh, she's a hard worker. And she'll expect you to be, too. But okay. I'm sure you'll get along like a house on fire, or even better, <laughs> one that isn't on fire. <laughs> Less shouting that way. <laughs> <laughs> Bernie, you are such a charmer. Hello there. From that rosy, fresh face of yours, I'm guessing you're Bernie's new hire. Oh my god, is she Good. Welsh? Now, I hope you're ready to ditch your diploma because Nancy we're about to Jones. get really hands on. But before we begin the real work, how about we familiarize you with the zoo by learning how to fly around it and visiting some of our okay, beautiful Nancy. animals? 
We'll start by popping over and having a look-see at the grizzly bears <laughs> in their habitat. Oh, you hold square to like fly around. Oh, this is cool. I like how they've um Did you know that grizzly bears also know added the controls because I'm sure on PC it's a bit easier, but it's actually quite good on console. Seven months a year. <laughs> oh, but then again, given the chance, I think a lot of people Oh my would god. Do that too. Nancy. Uh... Select one of the bears and you'll bring up its information panel. Okay, Nancy. Where, oh my god, where did the bears go? Where did all the good bears go? This Mika. Find out all kinds Grizzly bear. 7.2 years old. The most important thing being its overall welfare. Aww. You'll learn more about animal welfare today as we go through your objectives. But oh, for this now, is cute. let's enjoy this magnificent animal. Why don't you select the camera from inside its information panel? Oh, I see. <gasps> oh, this is see, so cute. This is a fantastic way to get a close look at your animals. I love okay, it. Okay, when you're ready, let's pop over to the other side of the zoo and take a look at the lions. I've marked <gasps> their location for you to find. Oh my god, that was so much fun. Okay. Locate the West African lion habitat. Aha. Oh, this is really fun. This is really Panthera good fun. Leo Leo. All the West African lion to you and me. Lions are the most social of the big cats, and there can be as many as 40 lions in a pride. Although Whoa. prides of that size are pretty rare. As Bernie would say, those lions are awesome. <laughs> Which is precisely why I handle the training instead these days. Anyway, oh, how about she's you get gorgeous. started on those objectives? Come on, let's head over to an empty habitat and Amina. see what he's doing there. You're so pretty. This looks awesome, like. Oh my god. Right, where am I going? Locate the empty habitat. There it is. Oh, this is what we're doing. This is much more manageable than starting a sandbox when I don't even know As what you can I'm doing. See, it's a lovely space for animals, but it's missing a certain something. Well, two somethings. Warthogs. <laughs> so I'd like you to adopt a pair of them. Aww. To adopt animals, we need to open the animal market, which is in the animal trading section. Oh my god, it's like football when they pick all the new players. <clears throat> it's just like that, isn't it? Animal market. Use the animal trading menu to adopt the warthogs. Okay. There we are. Aww. A pair of perfectly god, they're expensive. splendid warthogs for our Well, they're not actually, are they really? Just select them and choose adopt. Normally, the animal exchange would be full of animals, but I've emptied out the market Ooh. while you learn how it Sorry, works. I need to stop doing a Welsh accent. <laughs> the last thing I need it's is you rude. accidentally <laughs> ordering a dozen elephants. <laughs> oh. Oh. When you adopt an animal, it's automatically placed in the trade center where they're oh, yeah. held until you're ready to move them into their habitat, which, as it happens, you are. So how about you move them into their new home? There you go. And then send to zoo. When you ask for an animal to be moved into a habitat, your caretakers will go to the trade center, collect your animal. Oh, this and is so like realistic. <laughs> habitat. I've marked the trade center's location. So let's go and watch the caretakers in action. Okay. Um, there it is. Gosh, this is so good. Well, as you can see, those caretakers don't hang about. They'll move don't those they? animals to their destination as fast as possible. Of course, normally we'd have to place the animals into quarantine before moving them into a habitat. But I am assured by a person of good standing that these warthogs are in the very rudest of health. <laughs> right, She's so let's fun. Let's get the warthog's habitat finished up so we can Look at him running with a warthog. You see, each that can't be good, can it? has an overall welfare statistic, basically how happy they are. And that overall welfare statistic is itself comprised of four different areas. Nutrition, <laughs> social health, habitat, Cute. and enrichment. Oh. Luckily, if you select an animal, you'll bring up their animal welfare information panel, which oh. we saw earlier, where you can see how they're doing. That way, you'll know exactly what areas need to be oh, addressed. No, Don't no enrichment. Remember, you can always check the Zoopedia for more information. Oh my God! No Let's enrichment. Start by making sure we're taking care of the warthog's nutrition welfare. 
To do this, we'll need to place a food station and a drinking station. Now, okay. each animal requires a different type of feeding station. And for the warthogs, it's a small feeding trough. So let's add one of those and Why do they want to eat? Where should we put the dinner table? Maybe like in the middle? Yeah? And then... I think more than one water. Maybe here in the shade? So it doesn't get all like warm. Oh no, that doesn't work. Well, my cats don't like to eat near the food. I mean, drink near the food, so. Animals also require stimulation to keep them happy. Let's add a lovely mud bath for the warthogs to roll around in. That bath will count towards their enrichment welfare. Specifically, will it now? Enrichment welfare. <gasps> this is fabulous. Fabulous. Oh, nice work. You've got a knack for this, I see. Now, our contractor had to leave in a hurry, so this place is in a feral state. And feral state. And what's it's all over the shop. But the first thing we need to finish is the ostrich habitat. It's over near the hippos. Okay. The ostrich habitat near the hippos. Yeah, this is so good. Okay. Okay, I'm here. Oh, before we actually start building our ostrich habitat, let's pause time for a moment. Oh. Playing gold, I see. Ah. That's more like it. A quick break. Sometimes it's a good idea nice. to pause the game whilst you're doing something which requires your concentration because it'll stop the zoo spinning out of control while you're looking the other way. Makes Let's sense. Let's keep the game paused while we get this ostrich habitat built. Okay. okay. Job number one here is to add a habitat gate. I feel so zen right now. <laughs> Every habitat needs This is a habitat so relaxing. Gate. After all, how else would the keepers get in and out? It's Just a good point, make Nancy sure Jones. Just up to the path so the keepers can reach it. Place a happy tap gate. Okie cokey. Habitat gate. Lovely. Boom. Outside placement area. Oh. oh, we can put it in the middle. I see. I see. I see. I see. Obstructed. What's going on? Ah. Right. Let's complete hard work the perimeter for some reason. <laughs> so we can adopt us some ostriches. <laughs> Yay! I've marked out an area for you to use, so I'd like you to finish off the perimeter using the brick barrier. Okay, I can do that. Um, build your habitat barrier. Red brick. Okay. We can do this, and then I assume we can sort of click and drag. No. Oh, I see. I see. I get it now. I get it now. That was really hard work for me. I'm not very bright. I'm not very bright. Okay. I was holding X, which clearly just isn't the way to do it. Come on, snap two, snap two, thank you. There's a big gap in the fence. The ostriches are gonna get out. Let's good go. Work. Remember, before you can place animals in any We habitat, are good, aren't we? It has to have a full loop of connected barrier. Now, you've probably noticed that guests can't actually see into this habitat yeah, at the moment. Yeah, literally. It's at just a prison right a now. Ladder. But seeing as they're banned, I'd like you to select a piece of barrier and swap out the brick for a glass barrier so the guests can see in. Okay, I can do that. There we go. Adding in more windows gives Gorgeous. guests even more opportunities to see the animals in a habitat. It's always best to make I feel sure like we the need guests more than can that, get a good but... view into a habitat from the path they're walking on because it makes them happy and because this would be a pretty terrible zoo if they couldn't oh. the last thing we need to do it's not letting is me do anymore but we'll go back box. to it you see we'll when guests enjoy the view of an animal they'll make a donation just make sure you put them in easy to reach places like near a viewing point donation Bad boxes donation. are one of the main sources of income for the zoo so make sure you remember them put it next to the glass so people can be like, oh, now what a lovely ostrich. ostriches, you should end pause time. 
After all, if time's paused, then so are our caretakers. Which will make it a bit tricky for them to Adopt deliver the and place four <laughs> common ostriches. Yay, this is so cute. Oh, Ooh. by the way, as well as pausing time, They're you can so also cute. speed it up. It'll run everything at two times and five times faster. Oh, they're old. I didn't realise ostriches useful, were that old. Especially if you're waiting for money to accumulate or for animals to be so many things. your habitat. <laughs> Personally, I use it when I'm waiting for a brew to finish. <laughs> All right, you've finished the habitat, so it's high time we adopted those ostriches, don't you think? She Let's is so funny. She's honestly so funny. She just wants to drink tea and be an icon. Just be an absolute icon. Oh, this is so good. While we wait for them to Do you be guys like playing games like this? I love games like this. Habitat, you should get it ready for them. Add a suitable feeding station, water station, and an appropriate food enrichment item. Okay, it's bestie. It's best to place things like enrichments and feeding stations near to the habitat perimeter, so guests mm. can get a really good view of the animals. Good idea. I never even think about things like this. Well, I don't tend to think about ostriches that often. <laughs> Maybe I should though. Oops. I didn't want to put that in the air. Oops. Oops. Yeah. Good win oh, house. Good to see the ostriches Let's go. Have they can really stretch their legs. Did you know Zoo cash. they can actually run at 43 miles per hour? Oh, oh heaven forbid they ever escape. <laughs> the speed camera finds alone would bankrupt us. Cute. <laughs> This is so cute. Well, Bernie certainly seems Look. impressed. Did he do his speed camera joke? Every time we get an ostrich. <laughs> They're definitely sleeping so, together, aren't they, these two? Now we've made the ostrich's <laughs> lives a bit better. Let's do the same for the keepers, shall we? Oh. To make it easier for the keepers to feed the ostriches and hippos, we should build a new keeper hut. Okay. Keeper huts are where the keepers prepare the food for animals. So they should be placed near to the habitats to make mm -hmm. sure the keepers don't waste their time walking when they should Makes sense. be looking after the animals. I like that one. You'll need to rotate the keeper hut to get it to connect up to the path. Is that right? No, not at all. Invalid rotation. Will validify me then, sir. Hang on, let's go back. I'm just seeing if I can snap it instead. Oh no, advance move. We don't want to do that. Ah! It's just a bit off. There we go. Let's set it back a bit. That's nice. That's not nice. That's nice. Yay! Power the keeper, keeper hut. Ooh. Only has space for one keeper, but the larger keeper hut can allow multiple keepers to okay. prepare food at the same time. That's very oh, modern. But check that out. In you can see everything inside as well. And That's so other cool. staff facilities shouldn't be placed near to areas where there are lots of guests. Guests don't like seeing facility buildings, and it can affect. I like their seeing happiness. facility buildings negatively. <laughs> so lock me up. In case that wasn't clear. <laughs> Throw away Something the key. Adore, facilities, shops, God and a damn it! Most of other objects need is power, and that Wee. obviously includes your newly built keeper hut. So let's yes. place a transformer next Such to detail. it, shall we? Yes, ma'am. Transformers more than meets the eye. <laughs> Transformers, robots in disguise. Sorry, that has got to be horrible to listen to, hasn't it? Invalid rotation, what's your problem? Lovely work. It's now not even. Oh no! I put it wonky. Oh no! And thanks to where you've put it, they will need to walk very Whoops. far to deliver it to the ostriches and hippos. Yay! Let's get on to your next objective then. <gasps> oh. Bengal tigers. Oh my God! We yes. Want to adopt some, but I'm afraid there's nothing ready for them yet. 
Head on over to the plot of land. It's cat time. It's not too far away. Yes, finally. Some good animals. <laughs> Righty, your next job is to build a habitat from scratch. Oh my god, from scratch. <laughs> and concrete and glass, I expect. So go ahead and build it. Just make sure that the Look habitat. How much money we're making at the bottom left? It's disgusting. Oh, and don't forget to add a habitat gate to the barrier. Okay, Nancy oh, Jones. And make sure the guests will be able to see the tigers. Yes, 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 yes. She wants concrete, doesn't she? For some reason. Terrible for the environment, but go off, queen. Okay, this is flipping awesome. God, I'm having the time of my life. I looked up some other people's Planet Zoo playthroughs just to see what kind of things people were doing on YouTube. And basically there's like a whole genre of creator who are just making really cursed playthroughs where they're just like, they're just really toxic zookeepers and they just, they're either toxic to the guests or like toxic to the animals. And I was just like, I just kind of want to play the game like normal, which is probably so boring. But, um, I am just boring, aren't I? Just boring. I'm just a let's play. I just play the game like it was intended. <laughs> I'm not really a challenge runner, um, sadly. All right. Completed the boundary. Let's add the gate. Where do we want the gate to be, though? Oh, <gasps> no! Delete! 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 Delete. No, don't delete the bush. No. I didn't mean to put that there. It's meant to be in. It's meant to be in, in there. Thank you. Habitat gate. So this is just for the zoo keepers to get in, right? So this feels like a good place to build now, the huts and Bernie stuff. Bernie takes so. safety very seriously at his zoos. So we yes. should probably make sure those tigers yes. can't jump out of their habitat. Yes, don't you think? probably yes, queen. The way we'll do it is by changing the height of the habitat's barrier. Oh, good call. Okay, then. Let's select the habitat barrier and then jump into barrier editing mode. We'll go over here because I can actually see it. Select the barrier. Edit barrier mode. Select the barrier. Great. Now highlight the entire perimeter of the habitat. Okay. You can do that by selecting fence segments one by one, or select one and hold to use the multi-select mode. Mm-hmm. Now you've got all of the perimeter selected, you can increase the height of your barriers using the barrier height tool. You'll want to make sure it reaches a height of at least 3.7 meters. I'm assuming that's what this is. No? Oh no, it can't be. Ah, hold square edit height. Oh. That's now fine, that the it? habitat is in place, don't forget to put down a donation box near to your viewing areas. Well, there's no viewing areas Ooh, right now because you keep talking to get. me. <laughs> Especially as these tigers <laughs> aren't exactly eating instant noodles for lunch. Where's the glass? I need the glass. Where's the glass? Um, do you think if you don't make the barriers high enough that the tigers could get out and eat people? Probably yes. I thought the glass was here, but maybe we can do that in a minute or something like that. We need to follow what she wants first. Well, viewing areas will will do like we'll do one like here. Okay, that's the habitat boundary complete, the habitat gate in place, and most importantly, the tiger. I want to put glass in. You can't see anything I in the think minute. It's time we Where's the glass tigers? option gone? I think I'm just dumb. Clearly, don't know how to play this game, despite doing the basic tutorial on easy. <gasps> tigers are so expensive. Did you know there's like barely any tigers left in the world? It makes me so sad. It makes me so sad. It honestly just depresses me when I think about it, actually. 
This is why I don't mind like Whilst zoos that work on collect and deliver the tigers, population let's take stuff. a look at preparing the habitat for their arrival. We'll start with the basics. Add a suitable feeding station for them. Mmm. Yum yum. This time, instead of adding a water bowl, let's try something different. Some animals need a pool in their habitat so they can a go pool. for a swim, but they can also use it to drink from. All you nice. have to do is make sure the banks of the pool have a gentle slope so they can easily get a nice Yeah, not falling drink. in. There's already a pool excavated, but you still need oh, to Oh, terrain. That's cool. You should do that by going into terrain and Lions and tigers and bears. Tool. Oh my. Uh, palm water definitely for drinking. Yes, that'll do nicely. Of course, just like the warthogs and ostriches, mm. these tigers will also need some enrichment. <gasps> Why don't you add some suitable toy and food enrichment items into their habitat? Oh, no! I don't mean to do that. Where did it go? Did I do that? Did I do that by mistake? No, because we've adopted two. Maybe it was a glitch. I just wanted to see them close up, to be honest with you. I just wanted to do the camera before we do all of the other stuff she wants us to do. I would do anything to be close to a tiger. Like, safely obvs, but... Cub petting is so cruel. So it'll probably never happen without me getting chomped. Which is fine. I don't mind. Okay, food tray large. Frozen blood pumpkin. That sounds badass. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Get some of that, kids. You can have lots. Because tigers are my favourite. Frozen blood pumpkin. Yum. Rubbing pad. Oh, so they can rub their beans. So they can rub their, their beans and their faces. Okay, it's really starting to take shape. Now, the tigers will need a shelter in their habitat so they can hide from the guests, or more likely the bad That's weather. That's so cats, Although isn't it? Although given that we're in England, you might want to think of that just as normal weather. <laughs> Go on, add a shelter to their habitat. You can either build one from various suitable bits and bobs, or if you like, just pop down the blueprint that I've already built for you. I will, thank you, ma'am. Increase hard oh, shelter welfare. Dogs. I'm sure it comes to escape your attention that the tigers look a bit miffed. That's because they aren't too keen on the type of terrain in their habitat. Select <laughs> look at all the trophies we're getting. This is so funny. Panel. I missed what she asked me to do because I was laughing too much at the trophies. They like rock? Did she say rock? I didn't listen to what she said. Unfortunately. Has that helped your terrain welfare? Right, yo. Head over to the terrain tab. That way you can view the terrain information oh. and see how they feel about different types of terrain. 83%. That'll tell you what the tigers need more of or less of in this habitat. Okay. They need okay, then. Open more the soil. editing tool, select painting, and give them some more soil. Yes, that should and more long the grass. habitat part of their welfare. No problem, my lovely, lovely tigers. Oh my god, that that guy's just walking around in here like no bother. Literally. <gasps> All gone. Can we do tall grass as well? Plenty of soil. We need more long grass. No, there's too much long grass. This is very confusing. Right then. All animals need plants and trees from their own biome or continent. 
you know, deserts, savannas, or Asia, Europe, that sort nice. of thing. Nice. We did it. It looks like these tigers need a few more plants in their habitat. To get a perfect fit, use plants from the rainforest and temperate biomes that are native to Asia. Although if you have to, you can get away with using just one or the other. Can the you tigers sort will by also want biome? a certain amount of their habitat to be covered by those plants. To find out which plants to use and how many, select a tiger and go to the environment tab. Ah, okay. Can do, lady. Can do. Come here, lady. Come here, little lady. Come here. Now, as you can see, some of the plants currently in the habitat aren't quite right for the tiger, like the wattle bushes. You can remove yep. them if you want. You can find all of the plants you need in the nature section, and you can use the filters to only show the types of plants you want to see. In this case, that's plants from the rainforest or temperate biomes. Just getting rid of everything that they don't want. Definitely don't want a spruce. Okay. And then we need to go and get them some more trees and bushes are found under nature. Oops. Ah, we can sort by biome. This is great. Continent. Gorgeous. They need way more plants. Oh no! <laughs> I didn't mean to put that one on there. Sorry. Oh my god. I want to live here. I literally want to live here. <clears throat> they say the good fences make good neighbors the ape rentership doubly true i don't like that the pun. neighbors is a bengal tiger <laughs> it's giving me the ick i don't know Still, why those tigers look so happy that i doubt they'd leave even if you did poke a hole in their fence <laughs> oh but for heaven's sake don't test that theory i have the tiger <gasps> so many right, statues let's head over to the indian peafowls i've been told that we need to improve their social welfare Okay. That, that, I mean, the placement could have been better, but at least the tigers are happy. That's like, frankly, all I care about. So it's all good. Wait, what was that? What? I don't even know what animal she said. Just find one of the peafowls and select them to open their information panel. This is a then wild enclosure. Although technically, I suppose Ganderin would just be for geese. <laughs> select a peafowl. I, 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 I can't see them. Oh, we need to adopt and place them, that's why. Oh wait. Ah, there they are. Expand their social welfare and we can get a bit more detail. They've clearly got plenty of space and they're not stressed, but it looks like their social group isn't quite right. So let's That's relatable. <laughs> Head over to the social tab to see what's wrong. What's wrong? Right. As you can see, the peafowlers need their population to be larger. To solve this little problem, you'll need to adopt three more female peafowls. Off you okay. pop to the animal market then. Gosh, this is heavy work. I feel like I'm at work right now. <laughs> Come on, you lot. 
Make friends, will ya? I need you all to make friends. Send to zoo. I'm sorry to any of my Welsh viewers for my really bad accent. Good work on those pea fowlers. I expect they'll be delivered soon. But sadly, it Why are you calling like them peacocks? Left, I was really confused grumpy. when she said pea fowl. I was like, I don't know what that is. Oh no, what's wrong with the snow leopard? More cats. <gasps> yes. Just like people, animals can suffer from stress if things aren't quite right. You know, like when Probably you the fact that they're in a zoo, the I don't know. Bag. Oh. In the case of these snow leopards, they're a bit stressed by their lack of privacy. Oh, this looks awful. You can awful. lower their stress levels by swapping out the normal glass barrier by their cave for one-way glass. It's not a cheap option, but I think they're worth the expense, don't you? This will give the snow leopards somewhere to go when they want to get away from the prying mm. eyes of the guests. This is making me sad. Zoos are so horrible. <laughs> it's making me sad. One way glass. Did that help? Did I put it the wrong way? Ah, there we go. Wait. Oh my gosh. Wait. Let me pause. Edit barrier. Why aren't you working? Delete, there we go. I thought I'd pause it so they didn't come running in or rather the, the snow leopard didn't get out. Um, one way glass. Why is it? Of course, when an animal isn't in its natural biome, it's probably going to be too hot or too cold. Unsurprisingly for the snow leopards, it's, it's too hot. Is it the wrong Even way? Even with the terrible British weather, you should help cool it down by adding some coolers to their habitat. But let's start by opening up the temperature heat map and having a look-see at the temperature in the leopard's habitat. It, I think I've put the, the, the one-way glass the wrong way. <laughs> That's so funny. Oops, what's this? I don't know why it's not letting me. Right, delete. Okay, well, that's just so funny. Um, okay. Turn on the temperature heat map. As you can see, we already have one cooler in there. Let's pop some more down and get as much of the habitat as chilly as we can. Luckily for us, this habitat already has power, but you'll need to make sure of that in the future. Just so you know, if any part of a habitat is powered, then the whole habitat will be powered. Okay. I can't get over that one way screen. That is so funny. Get it nice and cool in the cave. Can we get it cool in the cave? Are we allowed? No. That's okay. You can find heat maps for all sorts of helpful things. So do be sure to explore them and make good use of them. 
Okay. It'll cool. take a little while for the temperature to adjust once you've added coolers or heaters. Not the barrier. But now we've got the coolers in, we can address the leopard terrain welfare. You see, what the leopards really want in here is snow and rock. So let's make that happen. It won't let me edit this barrier, which is honestly a real problem. Well, never mind. That's fine. Snow and rock. I can do that. <laughs> this is cute. And then we'll do some nice rock. Oh no! Why is it only doing rock? Very snowy. I love the music, it's so cute. No, we need more snow. I know we need more snow. I'm trying to put the snow down, and it's not saving. Maybe we need more coolers or something? Where were they? Were they in facilities? Habitat. Let's do more coolers. This is weird. It just needs to be cooler. Is it cool enough now for there to be snow? Please. actually say what the temperature is oh maybe it maybe it stays snow when it's cool enough but it's not cool because I've paused time that would make more sense. They can't see in now though, look. I've done it the wrong way. It hasn't had enough time to cool down, has it? Because I paused it. That makes sense, I think. I'm sorry I could have fixed the thing. All of that should Yay, give you a pretty good works. understanding of how to make animals happy. I was like, hmm, so I'd like you to go and science, how does science work? I forgot that I paused it, to be honest. That'll increase the average welfare of the animals across the whole zoo. And that average Gold welfare objectives is are complete. a very important statistic. Cute! Now, to quickly see how all your animals are doing in the zoo, you should head to the animal section of the zoo management screen. Okay. Market expanded. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think it's fair to say that oh, you've passed hey, the first part of your training with flying colours. There's still lots more to learn, but we'll have to head to another one of Bernie's zoos for that. If you Hi, want to baby. grab your passport, we'll head off, shall we? You're so cute. <gasps> mm, sounds Look like at him you've go. got the whole zoo purring away nicely. Well purring, grunting, screaming, booming, <laughs> all the uh, appropriate noises. I guess I was right to hire you. What the you, hell huh? do you mean by that, Bernie? <laughs> hey, don't tell her I told you, but 
Nancy wasn't sure you'd even last the morning. <laughs> so this is we're so happy funny. this is working out. <gasps> and Nancy owes me a foxy coffee. <laughs> as strange as it seems, considering Whoops. we just met, when I look at you, I feel like you're the child I never had. After the one I did. Bernie, have, you are a obviously. weird guy, you know that. But you see, zookeeping's not for my daughter. Oh and my don't God, get me wrong. Again. Emma absolutely loves Emma. Emma but that's my name. She set her sights somewhat higher. Mm -hmm. Wants to save the entire planet. I'll just settle for saving a couple of species, and maybe having a type of frog named after me. <laughs> why does it? Why the hell does it keep going back to red brick when I'm clearly trying to use the glass? Oh, is it because... That's better. That's better. Although... What the f This is really, really odd. I can't even lie. And now it's just doing the red brick again. This is a really fiddly. Can he get out of there, do you think? Okay, we'll delete that one. Delete that one then. Okay, well half of it you can see in and half of it you can't. Completely pointless. <laughs> it's too, it's too finicky. I swear this, this leopard can get out of this gap because it's not that high up. Oh, it's cool that you can see the signs. I saw the signs. I'm gonna leave the zoo before bad things start happening. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was so funny. It was very zen. Um, a little bit stressful when I didn't understand how the controls work, mind you. But again, I'm just not very bright, am I? Just not very bright. <laughs> Right, we unlocked the ape rentership, which I don't love that word. <laughs> and um, Eye of the Tiger, which is honestly hilarious. Um, let's do the ape rentership. Let's do some monkey business. Um, yes, good. Good, this is so fun. I played Zoo Tycoon religiously as a kid, but I did really like messed up stuff, like making a zebra enclosure and filling it with um, lions. Cause I was just sick, sick in the head, I guess you could say. And you'd be right if you did say that. Is it gonna be Bernie again? Is this Bernie? Are they all gonna be Bernie? This is Welcome so pretty. To it's quite the change of scenery from dreary old England, huh? <laughs> Apart from the weather, I suppose. They don't call these this places so rainforests for nothing. <laughs> the God, zoo you'll wow. be working in is an ape sanctuary where we're doing vitally important conservation work. Not just for apes, but for Let's all go. kinds of species. Conservation apes, work is well, what we want to hear. Apes are some mm -hmm. of the closest relatives to humans there are, and yet, the way the world treats them is like, well, very much like some of us treat our actual makes me relatives. Sad. It makes me so sad. <laughs> anyway, that's why I'm determined that our operation here does I'm just some good. My microphone if we can not all leave right some place. part of the world in a better state than we, we found it, we'll have lived lives worth living. Bunny is kind of adorable, and isn't of he? States, <laughs> He's I have a horrible kind of feeling cute. I left the house in a right one. <laughs> when I get back, I expect my life won't be worth living at all. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell, Bunny! Trauma dumping on me. What do you oh think God. of Madagascar then? Bit warm for my tastes, to be honest. Anyway, this is Bernie's primate Nancy. sanctuary. It's not just primates, though. We've got all sorts of animals. So why don't we go and have a look at some of them, eh? We'll start by eh? taking a look at the red ruffed lemurs. They're the ones that look like they should be in a Shakespeare play. <laughs> Come on, let's head over to them. I'm just feeling very relaxed right now after such an awful week. It's really nice.
Right, I'm here. Red lemurs are found in the rainforests of Masuala. That's in oh, that's fun. Madagascar. That. They can actually live anywhere from 15 up to 25 huh. years. What? Fancy that, eh? Okay, when you're ready, let's go find our Bornean orangutans. Ooh, baby. The Bornean orangutan is such a marvelous I love that creature. we're just learning animal they're facts today together. <laughs> they in, and they're also the biggest tree-dwelling animal on the planet. <laughs> Assuming you don't count any lions that got stuck up one. Oh, oh, so why don't you take a better look at them? Open up that information panel and go into the Oh, I'm way ahead of you, babe. No, you're so cute. Just incredible. Look at the big bunda. Look at the booty. Respect the booty. When you're ready, let's go and have a look see at some of our beautiful bonobos. <laughs> They're quite the characters. Oh, yes, please. Oh, dear. It looks like we've arrived just in time. <gasps> one of the habitat's barriers has collapsed. What? And wouldn't you know it, one of the bonobos no! has made a run for it. We'll Where? need to catch them. But before we do, we should box up the other bonobos to stop them escaping too. Select the habitat boundary to bring up the habitat information panel. Good. Uh -oh. Now open the animals tab. Box the bonobos. Except the remaining bonobos. Oh my god, there's so many. Animals. You're coming with me, boys. It's like Madagascar now, all over we'll again, need a literally. Vet to recapture that escaped bonobo, but it seems our last one left to do some research in the wild. Not an ideal situation. So, we'll need to hire a replacement, Sharpish. Go sharpish. into the staff tab of the browser. Vet? Ah, I see. We have to do it at the bottom, not in the barrier tab. I mean, that makes sense, I guess. You can find all of your staff in here, but there's no time to go looking at their particulars at the moment. Hire a vet. <laughs> okay, sorry. Now place the vet on one of your paths. Go get that bonobo, sir. I just Great. put him in the middle now of... Oh my god, he's going to break his knees! They can cause too much havoc. Oh my god, he's literally going to break his knees. The escaped bonobo. Oh no, he's fine. All right, go, sir. Uh -huh. What's he doing? Oh my god, where did he go? Hang on. How do we assign him to the escaped bonobo? He just walked off. I thought he was just going to do it. Come here. What is wrong with you? Don't just stand there, sir. What is wrong with people? <laughs> Can we give him a job to do? Tranquilize escaped animal. Will he do that now? If we ask him to? Not convinced he's doing what we asked him to do, to be honest. Dude, where are you going? Are you, were you dropped? What is wrong with you? Were you dropped? Then press call vector. Oh. Yep, you guessed it. Call the <laughs> that was not very it. clear. I'm sorry. That was not. Oh. Oh, okay, that's the relief. <laughs> So while the vet deals Very with our bonobo friend, let's go fix up their habitat so they can't let's escape again. Let's be honest. Head back over there. I'm here, As I'm here. As you can see, the barrier's collapsed. Someone's taken their eye off the ball, obviously. Let's get this one replaced. Select okay. the barrier and then we'll edit it. Delete the broken section of barrier and replace it with a brand spanking new one. Spanking, you say? Oh, 
Lovely. This is actually hard to like keep track of where everything is. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Now that we've done that, we need to make sure to add climb proof barriers to the top. That ah. way the bonobos won't be able oh, to climb yeah, I out. See. Just make sure you've got the correct piece of barrier selected when you do that. Oh. Climb proof options. Climb proof. Okay, so go into the options section and select which side the climb proof barrier needs to go on. And don't get it wrong. <laughs> We're more huh. worried about bonobos climbing out than guests climbing in. Nicely done. And I think it's high time we unbox those bonobos, wouldn't you say? <laughs> yes, ma'am. So get sad if we leave them in there for too long. Oh, Select the no. habitat barrier to bring up the habitat information panel again. Oh, cool. And then open the animals tab. Unbox the bonobos. This is so funny. And Can you see my brain working while I'm playing all this? Animals to let them out. I expect some of them are bursting for the toilet. I'm clearly quite so, slow. It turns out that as well as the old vet leaving, the zoo's mechanics did too. We'll need you to hire okay. a new one so we can help stop any more breakouts. You see, mechanics do all sorts of helpful things around the zoo, but one of their most important jobs is taking care of the habitat barriers. Without mechanics around to repair them, the barriers will crack, crumble and fall down. And before you know it, we'll be overrun with escaped animals. Head into the staff tab of the browser again. Well, we don't want that, do we, Nancy? Oops. Hire a mechanic and then place them on a path to pop them into your zoo. One mechanic. You have to go back into the browser if you're hiring Two mechanic. the same type of staff Yay, member. Yay! Bronze Just objectives completed. Bare essentials. I cannot deal with all of these puns. <laughs> they Gosh, are so we silly. Have been busy, haven't we? Good work there. I'm off. I can't a deal with it. <laughs> I think Bernie wants a word with you. That's so dumb. I love it. Oh, I hear you had a bit of an issue with an escape bonobo. We the did, main sir. Thing is that you dealt with it swiftly, and more importantly, without the animals stealing someone's clothes, putting them on, and then walking out of the front gate. You see, another key responsibility for our vets is animal research. I want to build on this bit. Animals allows vets to unlock new enrichment items. Make people walk across here. Information <laughs> for our education resources, oh, enhanced breeding programs, and improvements to food quality. <laughs> the animals' food, not the vets. It'll take more than a research grant to improve the staff canteen. <laughs> anyway, as you Nancy, can see, you're research a funny, is a key part funny lady. of the zoo. In order for a vet to undertake research, they require a research centre. <laughs> and once again, that that's something that this zoo is missing. So let's build one. I've marked out an area for you to put it. Now, you've probably noticed that there's already a building where I want yeah, you to build Yeah, I was thinking that. I was just center. like... Don't worry. You see, the building that's currently there is actually a hollow shell. Oh. So we're able to place our new building inside of it. If you select the research center for placement and then hover over the shell, you'll see that it asks if you want to add the research center to the existing building. Oh. Now, select the building to add it to it. Oh, but that won't place it just yet, though. First, we'll need to rotate our research center so it automatically connects to the path when we place it. Makes sense. <laughs> Dreamy. Oh no. Oh no. Um delete. Uh <laughs> delete. Yes. Why on earth would it even allow me to do that? Just put it in midair, please. Please. Research center small place 
rotate so it automatically connects to the path. How is it obstructed? That looks like literally perfect to me. If I do say so myself. Yes. Yes. Right. Splendid work. <laughs> it's now that so we have difficult. A brand spanking new research center. We can give our vets something to do in there. Oh, by the way, it's worth noting that the vets will only do research when they're not required to do any other jobs. That said, you can change what jobs a vet does via their information panel. But let's not worry about that just now. Okay, bestie. So, let's get our vet researching ringtail lemurs. Pop open the access menu, head into Zoom management, then go to the vet research section. Access menu. Uh -huh. Here, you can see a list of all the animals cool. present in your zoo. And also all the potential diseases that can occur. Now, assign your vet the ring-tailed lemur to start their research. Nice. Research level five. No vet assigned yet. Well, how do we assign one then? Malcolm Trejo, ah. Choose a vet. He has one star out of five. Do we really want him researching stuff for us? He doesn't seem that great. That didn't work. Why didn't that work? Vet research. Malcolm. Malcolm clearly isn't good enough. Is it because he's only got one star maybe? Maybe we need more vets. Hire a vet. Okay. Can that new guy help us? Oh no. Oh, Actually, apparently. Thinking about it. Apparently the sure lemurs just didn't like Malcolm. They wanted a woman. All about the fairy little delights. That's so funny. <laughs> they were just being sexist. Okay. First off, let's pop down two education boards. Place them on the habitat. Wow, the lemurs are popular, huh? God damn. Like. Pop them down on a stand. Okay. I love reading these. I read them in full detail when I go to any kind of attraction. Education boards, huh? Oh. Cool. Um. And then one down here, I think is good. Oops. Okay, now that they've been put into position, we have Ooh. to tell them what animal to display information about. Select one of the education boards to bring up its information panel. Okay. And from the drop down list, select ring tailed lemur. Although I'm sure that last part was obvious. When you link an education board or a speaker to Sweet. an animal, you need to make sure that said animal is close by. If it isn't, the guests will get confused and won't learn as much. Oh no! Oh, I put that the wrong way around. Lol. Can everyone get out of the way? I need to move my education board.
Right, everyone's annoying me. I've put it the wrong way. I want to delete it. Like, why am I struggling so much? I'm just going to build another one here. I feel like that's fine. <laughs> I didn't realize it was backwards. It's like really hard to tell. We'll just do another one here. It'll be fine. Select. And then we'll put the lemurs on this one. Because that other one is okay, just broken. <laughs> now that we've done the education boards, let's pop down a pair of speakers. Speakers play audio to the guests so they can learn while they look at the animals. Instead of okay. having to go through the laborious process of reading. <sighs> oh, one thing to bear in mind is that it's important not to put the speakers too close together. If you do, the guests won't be able to understand what's being said. Mm-hmm. Now we I guess the same thing with the them, yeah. To the ring-tailed lemurs, just like you did with the education boards. Okie dokie. Ring-tailed lemur. Custom music. Cool. Ring-tailed lemur, there you Fantastic. are. Fantastic. Oh, it's worth remembering that education boards and speakers both need power to work. They won't do much good without it. Oh, it looks as though our vet has done research on ring-tailed lemurs. We'll need to collect the results. Head back into the vet research area to take a look at their findings. Where was it? Collect your research. Nice. Collect your research. What did you discover, Jeanette? Just so you know, vets will continue to research an animal even after successfully completing a research level. <laughs> I suppose when you're in overachievers. the zone, you're in the zone. Complete overachievers. Who are they trying to impress? Well, now that Who are they trying to impress? the lives of our guests, let's enrich the lives of our ring-tailed lemurs. Satisfy the ring-tailed lemur like climbable lemurs area have requirement. A need. That means they have a requirement Don't mind if I do. Uh, and you can fulfill that requirement by building them a climbing frame. Cute. Let's find Look at this. Out how much more climbing space <gasps> our lemur Keyboard. friends Play chopsticks. Select one of them and bring up their information panel. Let's go with Elton John here. <laughs> Next, pop over to the terrain tab. More sand. Ah, now, as you can see, the lemurs need quite a lot more climbing space. But as it happens, I've already got a climbing frame blueprint built for you. So you can either pop that down or build one yourself from scratch. By the Wait, way, it's not sound? always just climbing needs that you have to worry about. Other animals might need a certain amount of water in their habitat so they can go for a swim. They certainly do keep us on our toes. There we go. Perfect. Um, what was I meant to be doing? I was ignoring her because I was worrying about the terrain. They wanted a climbing frame. Enrichment. Yes. Musical keyboard. We need more enrichment. Climbable area requirements. Climbable branch. Climbable. Boom, boom. Boom. God, there's so much stuff. They're going to have so much fun climbing all this. I want to put them near each other so they can like jump from one to the other. Like a Tomb Raider assault course sort of thing. And then oh, down this that's bit. That's a great climbing frame for them. They're going to absolutely love it. Oh, I forgot she gave us a climbing frame. Even happier though. Nicer food. But that's true of all of us though, isn't it? You can unlock better quality food for animals through research. Luckily, we've already unlocked some for the oh. lemurs, so all that remains is to make sure they get served it from now on. I didn't see that. Let's bring up the <laughs> habitat information panel by selecting the lemur habitat. Set ring-tailed lemur food quality to grade two. Okay. Uh, where are the lemurs? 
Where's the one pain keyboard? Where did he go? Where did Elton John go? Oh, they're all on the climbing frame. Slow down! If you're not going to slow down, I'm just going to have to pause time so I can catch you. There we go. Set ring-tailed lima food quality to grade two. Okay. Oops. Oh, for God's sake. The enrichment's still not very good. Toy, they need more toys. They need more toys. How do I do the food quality? Lovely. Now ah. select the animals tab. Grade two. Yay! So a new climbing frame. Oh, they're having a great food. time. Oh, you've really I'm concerned about the lack of toys rotten. though. <laughs> now, I think it's time we looked at one of the zoo's most important responsibilities. Releasing animals into the wild. This is you what see, I'm interested when we feel in. An animal is ready, we can release Capture them mark into the release. Wild, but what makes an animal a good candidate for release? Well, their age is an important factor. I mean, we can't release an animal that's a juvenile, just as we can't release one that's gotten too old. They'll also need to be fertile. After all, the idea is to repopulate the wild, so the best candidates will have a high fertility gene. It's honestly together, quite graphically the age amazing. The fertility of a candidate will <laughs> determine how many conservation credits we'll be rewarded when we release them. Now, Conservation credits are vitally important. They're the okay. lifeblood of your zoo because earning them allows this is you to what adopt I, even I like to more hear. animals. And what's more, the animals you can adopt will be of a higher quality. So, with okay. that in mind, let's pop over to our orangutan habitat. Oh my god, yay! Let's release them into the wild. Release Agung into I'd the like wild. You to find Agung, the Bornean orangutan, in the habitat and select him, please. You can go through each orangutan in turn or select the habitat barrier. <laughs> I really want to find him myself. The habitat information panel and find him Is in it the you? animals list. Yeah! <laughs> no, release him into the wild. Can you imagine just being in a zoo? And having literally everything you need handed to you on a plate and you're super safe and all your mates are there and then you just get thrust into the wild. I know it's for the best, but... You make me sad. I know, it's sad oh, to see him go. But you'll be happy out in the wild. Say goodbye. And he's a wonderful candidate for release. <laughs> Young, strong and fertile. Excellent work there. I'm glad that she didn't You've make any weird jokes got then. You know. That would have been awful. That would have been awful. Ah, I see right, what's been doing next on the list? Although it hardly seems like work. We're doing very good. As Playing on as easy, <laughs> but it's I still good I'd fun. I much better grades at school if there'd been less algebra and more algebra. I like these trees. This is incredible, like okay. environment. So far, we've done a lot of work with habitat animals, but Ooh. now it's time to learn all about exhibit animals. Ooh. Let's build a brand new exhibit. What's this gonna be? I've marked an area for our new exhibit. How about we head over there? Okay. Lovely. Now let's build a new exhibit Ooh. in the gap that's been left. Just add it to the building like we did with the research center earlier. Then pop what it should into I build gap. though? What do I build? What could you possibly build in such a small gap? Oops, oops, oops. Perfect. The next thing to do is adopt an exhibit. What, what animal can go in there? there? Oh, like a snake, I guess. A that makes monster. sense. Open up the exhibit trading What is a Gila monster? Them. I've never heard of that. <gasps> oh. Just as we do with habitat animals, we need to send the Gila monster to the exhibit. Gila Select monster? The exhibit <gasps> to send it there. Oh. When you send an animal oh, to an she's exhibit, cute. it will automatically be given the correct setup. But that doesn't mean I've it's never heard of this animal. <laughs> so let's finish it off. We'll start by adding some enrichment items. Head over to the exhibit's information panel. 
Oh, that's cool. You don't have to drop them in because it's so small. As so you I'm can just sure you know by now, you can unlock more tick everything off and it does it. That's pretty cool. Do some research. Now we'll also need to set the temperature and humidity in the exhibit. Yeah, These that makes are sense. Check. important for keeping our Gila monster happy and comfortable. Gila monster. Open the climate tab. Yep, I'm there. Here you can see the Gila monster's desired temperature and humidity. Okay, so you we want to be hotter and by way less humid. Below. Make sure it's going to be nice and cozy. way less humid yeah who would want to be that humid not me sir that's practically like 10 10 15 percent yeah or maybe a that's little bit more ticket. and there the last go. thing we need to look at is setting up the different windows uh -oh. so open up the windows tab You okay. can edit and customize any of the windows on an exhibit. Ooh. A window can be closed and blank, or oh, have a two-dimensional background, or even a three-dimensional background on it. Why oh, don't you have wow. a play around with the options? Oh my god, that's so fun. I love how those people are looking through. There's also an exhibit education board. Pop them down near your exhibit to teach your guests about them. Let's add one now. Close that one. Oh, place one exhibit education board for Gila Monster. Gila Monster. I'm a mother effing monster. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I did that. That was super weird and lame. Place down two education boards. <clears throat> you got it, boss. Why are people acting so exhausted? I mean, I guess it's hot there, isn't it? But still. Exhibit education board. Okay, let's go. Snap rotation to certain angles. Do, 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 do. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Just Thank like you. the education boards and speakers we put down for the ring-tailed lemurs, you'll need to link these to the Gila monster. Go on. Gila monster. I'm a mother freaking Gila monster. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Sweet. Now all about our venomous friend Venomous? Here. Right. Now, Why have I never I've heard got a bit of this? Of a big job for you. I need oh. you to increase the number of species in the zoo. You'll probably want to okay. adopt both habitat and exhibit animals to do so. Which Ooh, this is exciting. Free reign. Habitats and exhibits for them. Go on, off you pop. Oh my god, this I'll is so much pressure. Okay. Can we find an empty exhibit to build? I feel pressure. I don't know where to build. I didn't know if it had highlighted any areas or we can just have at it. No. Oh, well, I saw somewhere that I wanted to build on, didn't I? How are people going to get down? Oh, they don't need to get down, do they? We can just build it. Okay, what animals do we have in our... <gasps> oh. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, my goodness. Is there a list of um animals that we already have? Animals 38 species 9. 9 species. Crime. Oh my gosh. Number of animals 38. Okay. So we have Bonobos, orangutans, hippos, lesser Antillean iguana, the Gila monster, the cockroach, gross, a mandrill, red rough lima, ring tailed lima. Okay. I feel so much pressure right now. Oof. Oof. 
Okay, Goliath Throg seems like a nice place to start. But where or oh where could we build a frog exhibit? Maybe on the boardwalk here? Is that a thing? Oops, nope. Animal exhibit. Build a froggy one here. I mean, it's a bit awkward, isn't it? But where else can we put this? I'm not really following like where the best place is to put exhibits. There doesn't seem to be anywhere else. Hang on, let me look around properly. We'll, we'll figure this out. It can't be that hard, can it? Can it? Oh, we could build one here. Could we? I'm gonna block the solar panels. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Where did that other exhibit go so I can take inspo from where it was? Oh, the toilets. I don't know where to build my exhibit. Maybe down here? Bring some more traffic down to this bit, perhaps? Because no one's really doing anything down here. This is more opportunities to make money. Cash money. Cashola. <laughs> Let's go. Hey. And then. Ah. What's happening? Oh, I'm in the toilet. Ah. Where did that. How did I end up above here? Where's my frog? Where's my frog gone? Where's my frog exhibit that I just put down? Oh, there it is. Why did it do that to me? Let me down to my frog, please. Maybe this isn't a good place. I can barely get to it. Okay. It's empty. We'll put a froggy in there. This one. Mark it. Um, this one. Adopt. Success! Swinging in the trade center. Yes! Did it. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. Where's the trade center? Ah. Uh, where... Where did he go? Where did my frog go? <laughs> Where did my frog go? Why is this actually so hard? I just want to find my frog. Froggy. It's been so fine up to now. Where'd you go? Aha! Uh -huh. Send to zoo! Yay! Cute! Right, his exhibit is not good. Layout. Exhibit layout is partially providing enrichment features. Well, that's not good if it's only partial. So what can we do about the layout? Enrichment level not yet researched. Ah, we need to research first. Oh, at least the humidity and stuff is good. We need to set someone to research on him then, don't we? Okay, we can do that. We can do that. We'll do the education boards first because no one is coming by because they probably don't know what's in there, which is a problem. That is a problem. You know. Guest facilities. Guest facilities. Oh no, it's that one, isn't it? Media devices. Yes, 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 yes. And then we'll do visual media. 
exhibit board. Yay! Cute! Oh no! Come back! Oh my god, it's so fiddly. It's literally so fiddly. Thank you. Thank you. Uh. Yay, Froggy! Yay, we have 10 species. We built a habitat. We need to set some research, but we'll be fine. Okay, next. What else do we have available in the marchette? In the marché? Clear filters. We had a lesser a lesser thing in my bobby. <gasps> Giant land snail. We could put a land snail next to the frog. It would give people more of a reason to visit the solo frog. Oh, it won't fit. It literally won't fit. Oh no, the frog's all on his own down here now. And maybe here. Maybe here. Yeah, that feels good. Facilities. No, not one of those. Go back. Animal exhibit. Yes. Oh. That's a that's a fancy slope just for a land snail. <laughs> Isn't it? Isn't it? Right, where is the snail? Um, exhibit animal market. Come here, snail. Right. Mandala is a cool name. That's by you. Send you to the zoo. Great, great, great. And then we'll do... I'm just hearing myself talking during this playthrough. And just literally laughing because if anyone could hear me through um the other side of my door they would think what on earth is she doing <laughs> what on earth is she doing um okay and then we'll do visual media we'll do another animal not in its ideal humidity range okay give me a sec i'll come get i'll come help oh no Oh no! Oh no! It doesn't like being under the boardwalk, but I just think it's a good place to hide, like shitter, shitter animals. No offense to the snail, you know. All right, we're gonna have to go all the way back down. Thank you. It's fa the camera is fairly intuitive with the console, but sometimes it just gets a little bit stuck. I just want to add the education board so people know what the frick they are looking at. Perfect, and then let's make it the snail. And then we need to check whose humidity is an issue. Animal alert. Oh, of course it's the animal. Well, you hadn't even given me a sec to even try. Right, welfare is very bad. Exhibit humidity. How do we... Animal's humidity is too high. Oh, we have to select the tank, don't we? There we go. Oh my god, humidity is way too high. The snail's gonna cook! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! I like how it takes a sec to, like, decrease the humidity because it's, like, a... Um... Proper gauge. It's quite cool. It's quite cool. Are you okay? Exhibit. What else can we do for your exhibit? The layout is not great either. Okay, what can we do about that, sir? Let's give you all the things you could ever want. And then we need to, then we need more research. It's, it's tricky, isn't it? It's tricky. And then what else is that over there? Zoo alerts. Education speaker overlapping. Oh dear. We'll deal with that in a minute. Let's get, um, one more species. Okay, what else is in the market? What else is in the market? The moshe. This one's been good. Something really good. All right. We've got these. We've got tapir, haven't we? Have we not got tapir? Oh, maybe we haven't. Maybe we haven't. Maybe we haven't. It'll say in here, won't it? 
our animals overview. Do we have a tapir? T T T T T T T T R. We don't have a tapir. Okay. Looks like that's what we're getting. What kind of environment do they have? I can't even think. Should we try here, maybe? Although, how are any of the zookeepers going to get to them over here? I hear you cry. It's a good question. Oh, we could go here, couldn't we? Could we? Yes. I think so. Okay. Let's build... I think I might be too overwhelmed to build a big animal exhibit. Maybe we could do one more, one more, um, like insect adjacent animal. Hang on. <laughs> exhibit. Gila. Land snail. Oh, cockroach. No. Oh no, we have got all of these now. Okay, we need to build a tapir exhibit. I don't understand where though. Let's try, let's try down here. This feels good. Um, okay. Construction. We need walls. We need some lovely, lovely walls. Um. We'll figure out how to connect it to the rest of the zookeepers. At some point. This feels wrong. Am I not in the right section for walls? Oh. You can have whole buildings. This is cool. Oh. Architecture. Oh. Walls, roofs and floors. Okay. Wall pieces. There we go. This is what I was looking for. Breeze blocks. Terrible. Log wall. This is what I wanted. I'm going to try build a little taper exhibit and see how I get on because I feel like I'm nervous now. I'm like going free for all. Oh, it's just going to be a big prison. Let's at least shake up the shape a little, you know? The music's just gone like, yeah, she's finally doing it. She's finally doing the zoo. I don't think tapirs probably need this much space, but at least it'll give us space to put in like a road for the vets and stuff. All right. Enclosed. <laughs> this is definitely not how you play planet zoo <laughs> but it shows you can have fun where did the tapir oh there it is invalid destination oh sugar what can they share with other oh I just built all of those walls for no reason for no reason That is hilarious. That's so funny. I didn't realize. All right, the tapir is on the way, I think, in the lemur exhibit. Wherever that is. But I didn't realize they could share, if I'm honest. Send to zoo. I didn't know they could share. My, my, you Great. have been busy, haven't you? <laughs> that was really stressful. But now that you've adopted all these lovely new species, we need to make sure they're nice and happy. So let's I think I did quite good. Across the zoo in, in my defense. Eye, shall we? And by we, I mean you. Go on, get to it. I made sure their enclosures were good. Thank you very much. Yeah, lovely thank you. 
You should be proud of yourself. I am Not actually. That was quite difficult for me, as you could tell the by the long bouts of silence Larry, while I was playing. But you didn't bankrupt us in the process. Amazing. <laughs> wow. Well, you <laughs> certainly transformed the zoo. I barely recognize it. We bought a, a zoo. New exhibit, some fascinating new species. There he is. You've done Hi. wonders for the animals' welfare by enriching their <gasps> habitat. Enrichment. Food enrichment. <laughs> Who doesn't love playing with a three-foot wide soccer ball, huh? <laughs> I mean, other than professional soccer players. I mean, I'm sure it wasn't easy, though. I expect money was tighter than a possum's pouch. Plowing all those funds back into the welfare of the animals doesn't make running these places a picnic. Although, it does make me feel a little less guilty about how much our gift shops charge. <laughs> no, as far as I'm concerned, the only reason to run a zoo is to help animal kind. Yeah, Sadly, it too appears right. some other people have far less noble goals. Give them better food. Way better food. Are you happier now, Tapia? Where did you go? I like trying to find them. <laughs> I could actually play this all night. I'm not even joking. <laughs> I could play this for so long. Okay, did it actually go down? Why is the food enrichment so low? Oh, there's no food bowls, of course. There'll be no food bowls, will there? Was that in Habitat? It was, wasn't it? Habitat. Um, Food and water. Feeding stations. A boreal feeding platform. I assume this is the right thing because it's popped up in this section. It's not giving me any options for food. Maybe this is just fine. Maybe they'll feed them. Okay, yeah, I clearly... I'm not sure how to deal with the food here. Oh! Oh, they've come and dumped some food. Feeder and food suitability. Okay, but what's... How do I feed the... How do I feed the tapia? It's not all about them. It's about the tapia as well. Send help. I've goofed. I've goofed. I don't even know what's happening at this point. Oh, vet research is complete. Let's go. Hey, can we set someone on the frog, please? Can you do the frog research for me, lady? Please. So I can enrich his habitat. Thank you very much. Why am I getting so into this? Okay, um... Then I think if we go to the main menu, it should um, it should give us the next level because there was one more, one more tutorial I think. But I could have probably just hung out in that zoo, just looking after my animals like all day. <laughs> it's so fun. I forget that games used to be fun and not just like a constant source of stress. Like, I forget that they used to be fun. <laughs> like, there's Bear Essentials Panda Park. Oh my god, there's so many things to do. Uh, I would love to play all of the Panda Park, but I think my dinner is almost ready. <laughs> I have not timed my day very well, but I would like to start the Panda Park at the very least because... That is genuinely one of the cutest things I've ever heard. I love all the names that they're giving things. It's genuinely making me very happy. Um, and all the puns from the NPCs. I'm only rolling my eyes for fun. I've not acknowledged how good the Planet Zoo logo is. I've never actually looked at it close up. <gasps> oh, I love it here. I love it here. Oh my god, oh, the pandas! <laughs> They're my daughter's favorite animal. Aww. 
And I think it's fair to say that if ever there was an animal which has captured the public's imagination, it's pandas. They are so cute. Oh, well, they are so cute. You ignore cats and dogs, obviously. It'll true, take more true, than true, a true. cute bear to knock them off of the top. Wow, spot. look at the gators. <laughs> oh, but did you know? Thanks to the incredible conservation work that's being done in China and around the world, pandas are no longer endangered. <laughs> Amazing. That said, they're pandas. Still considered it's a terrible animal. American accent. So, <laughs> this zoo is extraordinarily lucky and honored to be part of that conservation effort. It really speaks to our reputation. A reputation. Praise that Bunny, you're praise. Be in of my friend. Oh, along with all the, uh, general maintaining too. I they're really so can tell you they're how so important cute. the I welfare them. of those pandas is. Oh wait, I can. <laughs> it is vitally important. The eyes of the world are on you, my friend. Although <laughs> perhaps more pressingly, the eyes of Nancy are on you too. <laughs> well Welcome I love it here. China. This is Bernie's brand Panda new celebration, Panda celebration zoo. zoo. So new, oh. in fact, that it's not quite oh. finished. But we'll deal with that later. First, let's take a tour of the zoo. Obviously, the giant pandas are the main attraction for this zoo, and luckily for us, we have one which was born just a few days ago. <gasps> let's go and have a look at it. Go on. Don't be shy. I think I might so have found it already. <laughs> I got way too ahead of myself. Oh, doesn't it just warm the cockles of your heart? Yeah. So cute. <laughs> Did you know the giant pandas or Iron Look at him, Nomen. Are the only entirely herbivorous bears. They can actually eat up to 38 kilos of bamboo a day. Whoa. <laughs> Not that surprising, given that Go they spend up to 14 hours a day chomping away. I don't imagine this little fluff ball has that kind of appetite yet, though. Quarantine the sick... Oh, no. The sable antelope. I just got word from one of our keepers. Oh, no. That a sable antelope was placed into a habitat without going through quarantine first. And that they're displaying signs of disease. Oh, dear. We'll have to move them into quarantine to stop the infection from spreading to the other animals. To do that, go to the highlighted habitat, find the infected animal, and then select them to bring up their information panel. How do I know who's infected? <laughs> Oh, animals welfare is good. I guess it's the one with bad good. animal welfare. Now choose oh. move and then transfer them into quarantine. I've highlighted the quarantine facility in the zoo for you. Move into quarantine. Oh, phew. That's a relief. <laughs> Thanks, Nancy Jones. Now that we stop the infection from spreading any further, we need to build a vet surgery so the I antelope love this can be park. treated it's and then so returned to its habitat. I've already highlighted where I'd like you to build it. So why don't we head over there? How cute. Ah, there we go. I'm here. I'm here. In order to build the vet surgery, choose facilities, staff facilities, and then vet surgeries. Okay. Okay. Facilities, staff facilities, and then vet surgery. Perfect. Let's rotate it so it's actually facing the correct way. I rotated it the longest way for some reason. That's the job. I that placed that so badly. Important role in a zoo, as they're the only places that vets can treat the animals. <laughs> so bad. Room for the antelope, I'm so the sorry. Pick them up from and bring them to the surgery. What is wrong with me? Hmm. Yes, diseases can spread through a habitat quite easily. Spread. Especially if the water inside it isn't being cleaned regularly. Oof. As it happens, I just got a report that one of our water treatment facilities has broken down and the water oh in the flamingo and saltwater crocodile habitats has gotten dirty. I've highlighted the water treatment facility for you, so you should go and check Look it out. Look at that mechanic. Run! <laughs> Select the water treatment facility. Oh, I think I'm doing it too quickly. <laughs> I'm speed running Planet Zoo. <laughs> Any percent glitchless. Yes, I don't think you need a degree in mechanics to tell that this thing's thoroughly banjaxed. <laughs> Use Call Mechanic to bring an expert over to fix it for us. 
So, just I've... to explain, water treatment facilities hey, will give similar it's fixed. power sources in that they have a radius of influence yeah. around them. That means any body of water which is even partly within that radius will be cleaned automatically. Oh, perfect. Also, like power sources, if they oh. get damaged, that radius of influence will shrink, meaning that it might stop Talk cleaning deal. water sources which were only just within its reach. If you want to check how much of your zoo is covered by your water treatment facilities, <laughs> then there's a heat map you can use to see the coverage. That way, you can quickly spot problem areas and rectify the issue. Where did the pandas go? <laughs> Where did the pandas go? Where have all the Good pandas work. gone? Now that the water treatment facility has been repaired, the water will be cleaned up in two shakes of a lamb's tail. <laughs> You can She's also honestly adorable. To power facilities, transport rides, spins, benches, signs, and as you already know, habitat barriers. I'm just now, exploring I'll my zoo. Honest, sorry, I'm still <laughs> don't mind about me. That disease scare we had. So I think we should do some research into hey. it. Doing research into a disease can help prevent future outbreaks of it. And even if we do have an outbreak, it'll make the disease much less potent. <laughs> I'd like you to start some research into border telosis. That's so cute. Disease research can be found in vet so research. Cute. So head over to your research center and get one of the vets researching it. Okay. You guys, I think I'm going to leave it there for today. That was just too much. That was so cute. Um, thank you, Frontier, for sponsoring me to play planet zoo console edition out now because that was honestly the most adorable laid back zen gaming experience i've had for quite a while um although some of it was a bit stressful i think i was silent for quite a lot of that video because i was just trying to figure out how to <laughs> play the game it's like a lot harder than i thought it would be to actually like remember where things are but um it was so much fun really good to play on console actually like i said i played a lot of um planet zoo not planet zoo a lot of zoo tycoon growing up on pc and i i never really knew how these kind of games would translate onto console like i would never have, have, have even tried it probably and i'm so glad i did because it feels really fluid i think all the issues with the controls i was having was purely a me problem <laughs> like i think it was definitely a me problem so um yeah that was good fun <laughs> i just want to hang out in these zoos i want to be in the last one they like orangutan one i feel like i was at quite at peace there <laughs> so um yeah please do check out planet zoo if this is your thing there's a link in my description that it would really help me out if you are interested in the game if you use my link it tells frontier that you are interested in what i'm saying and that they pick the right person so um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed just chilling for a couple hours playing this this lovely game um and yeah let me know if you want to see me i think i'm gonna start streaming because um I now have good internet. I say good. I had four gig upload before. I now have 18. So it's over quadrupled? No, over tripled. So this could be a fun stream game, to be honest with you. Because I feel like it's just fun to sit back and chill and chat and stuff like that. Ah. Um, there I am on top of my planet. Do you see me? Ba -ba -ba. You can see my username. Don't add me, please. <laughs> okay. Um, you guys take care. Thank you for watching. Thank you again to Frontier for sponsoring the video. And until next time, take care. I will see you very soon. <gasps> All gone. All gone. <laughs> All gone now.